Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you are around the world. Hope everyone's having a good day. Today's video is about the Battle Pass, because I definitely believe there is a winning formula, which I'm going to be discussing today. Now today's video is actually commentary extracted from a live stream I did with SnowRunner a couple of weeks ago on twitch.tv slash maverickrng. It just so happened it was one of the topics that I was talking about during that live stream. So I've cut it all down into this lovely little bite-sized little video for you to enjoy. Let me know what you think a battle pass system should be like, whether you agree, disagree, or something completely different. That's up to you, let me know below. But until the next piece of content or live stream, I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy. So one of the things I did discuss kind of at the start, I, can't, I mentioned the game saying, oh, it could have been, I could have streamed Snow Royal World of Warships. I ended on Apex Legends as well, because I have gone back to it this week because of a particular update that came through which was the spellbound update basically controls maybe come back and even when control finishes i'll still continue to grind that battle pass uh which is really good basically this time i have a month to go but i started because i only got to level six on the battle pass before i stopped and started playing other games again because i've said this before i don't it's not like I got bored of Apex, it's just that I was playing other games more. The thing is, Apex Legends, to me, does the best battle pass, and there's not many other battle passes that replicate the correct winning formula for a battle pass that doesn't make people too mad. So, Apex puts in the effort to put in some nice skins and a, a variety of aspects that you can obtain. There's, you know, there's poses, there's banners, there's there's skins, etc. Right? All throughout the battle pass, free and premium. That's standard for any game, right? And you also get Apex coins, which is what you use to pay for said battle pass. Now bear in mind, it's 950 coins for a battle pass, which if you bought coins, it's around 8 quid. So that's 8 quid every few months for, what is it? It is a couple of months, is it? Is each season, is it? It's like 80 days or something, isn't it? Although it's quite worth it, the great, the, the one winning formula that really does it is one, the fact that the coins you get in the premium battle pass just means you can buy the next season as long as you played and dedicate yourself for that season. I mean, I have only had to buy the battle pass two three times i've been in maybe six seven seasons maybe that i've completed there's been some seasons i thought i'd be dedicated to but i just no no just haven't i just haven't finished it which is very unfortunate i am a day one well i'm a week one player i think but yeah that's one willing formula for it is the fact that you have enough credits as long as you complete the battle pass you have enough coins it's less money overall for the company, but it works because it makes people happier. Uh, because they're like, if I grind the entire battle pass, I can get the next one basically for free. If you're a dedicated Apex player and you played in Season 0 and you played every single season, without fail, you've only bought the battle pass once, if I'm correct. Which means you have enough credits, enough coins, sorry, to... Buy a few skins, don't you? But there are people like me that's a bit of variety. I play a lot of racing games and simulation games, and I play FPS games. The other piece of winning formula for a good battle pass is weekly challenges that don't restrict you to when you can do them. So Apex brings out a set of weekly challenges each week, and they also have daily challenges that go also go towards the battle pass. That means it doesn't matter, just like me who hasn't really been playing the game and then suddenly I want to play it but I also want to basically finish the battle pass in time and I think I have enough time if I absolutely really grind it every single day. Because the weekly challenges aren't restricted on when I can do them, I can do them whenever I want, in what order I want. But yeah, those are the two win winning formulas in my books for a really good battle pass. Obviously, really, when I... When I look at a battle pass, I think, is there anything there that's worth it for me? 
you know, is are the skins good? Is is the gun skin at the end? Because Apex always do a gun, a really nice legendary gun skin at the end. Is it a gun that I I use and I like and I'm fairly good at at my kind of skill level? But the most point, do I enjoy playing playing with the gun? Really? And if it's like, yeah, I'll go and buy it. But then again, if if I'm going to be dedicated, because sometimes what I do is I complete the battle pass, the free battle pass, and then if I get to the end without the premium. I know Apex has a 5% XP booster, so technically if you buy it, you get, you know, you get it faster, but still, if there isn't much that I'm, I've bothered about, I'm like, yeah, fine. Battlefield, I'm not sure, because I am one of the few people that pre-ordered Battlefield Gold Edition, and I didn't realise that we get the first four seasons free. The Battle Pass is free for us, for the first, like, four seasons. And I've only started playing in Season 3, so I'm swapping between Apex and Battlefield right now because I want to get all that stuff done. Because I have the premium, it doesn't tell me how much the Battle Pass is. I'll have to Google it. But that winning formula? Guess what? Battlefield does the weekly challenges. It unlocks them like Apex. You can unlock them whenever you want. I don't think they have dailies, though. That's the only thing they don't have. They don't have dailies, but they just have the weeklies. But you can do them whenever you want. And they're pretty, fairly straightforward to do. And because XP is a lot of it, you know, you do a full game of Conquest. It's absolutely brilliant. So that every time there's a battle pass, I'm like, if it has those two winning formulas, then great. That's a battle pass that I can get behind.